Well, good morning, William. Did you have a nice sleep? We want to be quiet so we don't wake up the others. <gasps> I'm ready for the beach. I love the beach, don't you, Dad? You can swim and snorkel and fly kites and collect seashells. Well, I'd like to catch up on my reading. And boogie board and teach your favorite toy how to dog paddle and make sand pies. I'm gonna build a sand city with skyscrapers and everything. Cool. I can't wait to relax in the sun today. Let's blow it up when we get there, shall we, Olivia? But... We need some room for the family. And don't forget, Julian's coming along, too. Julian doesn't take up very much room. Usually. Well, uh, hello, Julian. Looks like you're all set for a fun, safe day at the beach, I think. Yeah, I just hope I don't get sunburned and end up with salt water up my nose like last time. Let's see. What great things should we do today? We should definitely make sand angels first. This is great. Now I won't even have to touch the sand. But you can't make sand angels if you don't touch the sand. But it gets in my bathing suit and makes me itch and... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Every time I come here, it's a complete disaster. You've almost got it. Now move your arms and legs. Do you think I can swim without getting wet? Now, just hang on to your board and do what I do. Okay. But don't do anything too radical. Who, me? This isn't so bad after all. Whoa! Look out, Julian! Ow. Sorry, Ian. I think I got even more sand in my pants. Don't worry. There's plenty of fun stuff to do out of the water. We can rebuild Ian's sand city with giant buildings, heliports, and a subway system for the sand crabs. Well, I'm already covered in sand, so why not? Hey, what's this? Could be an oyster. <gasps> a real oyster? Do you have any idea what oysters are? Invertebrates? Yeah, but that's not all. They're also pearl makers. They're what? Pearl makers. Oysters make pearls, and pearls make beautiful necklaces. Isn't this exciting? Nope. Finding an oyster is like finding buried treasure. And if there's one oyster on the beach, there's got to be more. Come on, let's start digging. Sounds like a lot of work. Aren't we supposed to be having fun today? What could be more fun than digging for buried treasure? <sighs> shoo! Shoo, birds, that's our lunch. <sighs> <sighs> There's nothing else here. I think we're digging in the wrong place. How about... over there? On that island? Come on, mateys! It's just like a pirate adventure! Arr! Aye, aye, aye! Aye. 
shiver me timbers. There be a treasure map. Mark. Polly wants a pearl maker. Mark. It's fun to be pirates and sail on the sea. We wear funny hats and we do what we please. We don't worry about bedtime or eating our peas. The life of a pirate's the life for me. Yo ho, it's treasure we're after. Yo ho, it's oysters we prize. Yo ho, we'll dig till we find them. Can't wait to find the pearls inside. It's fun to be pirates. We get to tell tales of searching for treasure, getting swallowed by whales. But our boat springs a leak, a scally wise bail. Treasure map, get in, babies! Yo ho, it's treasure we're after. Yo ho, it's oysters we prize. Yo ho, we'll dig till we find them. Can't wait to find the pearls inside. Polly wants a pearl maker. Well? Well what? Aren't you gonna go in and get it? Why don't you do it? I'm the captain, and the captain stays with the ship. But... Rap! She's the captain! This map will lead us to the treasure! Start digging. Didn't I tell you we were gonna have fun today? Yep, you did. I'm hungry. I don't wanna dig anymore. I'm gonna go get a sandwich. Number 19. Sometimes you just have to use your big voice. We did it! <laughs> <laughs> nice jam, Dad. <laughs> Should we go back for a treasure? Treasure? Oysters! With pearls inside! Hmm. Sorry, Olivia, that's actually not an oyster, it's a clam. There are no pearls inside. <sighs> But they're perfect for a clam bake. Who wants seconds? Shoo! <laughs> <laughs> Olivia, all of these books are about pirate adventures. How about one pirate story followed by a nice, gentle story like Goodnight Beach? Um, how about two pirate stories and Goodnight Beach? <sighs> I guess that would be okay. Of course. Three pirate stories would be... I don't think so. Two's fine. Good night, Olivia. Sleep tight. Aye, aye, matey. Julian, I'm hiding. Find me. Julian, you're supposed to try and find me, remember? Hide and seek? Actually, I like to play sit and watch. 
then my cat Gwendolyn can jump through two hoops forward and backwards. And she stands on her tippy toes. My cat Edwin can dance ballet. Gwendolyn can also swim the backstroke. Well, Edwin can sing opera. I just remembered. Gwendolyn can make yummy macaroni and cheese. My cat Edwin used to make plain macaroni and cheese. Now, he makes three cheese macaroni and bakes cupcakes. You know what might be very fun? Our show and tell day for you and your pets. Ooh. Why, I'll even bring in a couple of my furry friends. Because they're so pretty. <laughs> yes, they are. Yes, they are. Get mama's little babies. <clears throat> well, as I was saying, Yes, Olivia? I have an even better idea, Mrs. Hoggenmuller. Can we have a talent show for our pets? They can all do a trick, and whoever is the best will win a prize. A pet talent yeah. show? My, oh, my, how I do I it. keep coming up with such fantastic ideas? Yeah. Fun idea, Olivia. Yeah. Gwendolyn loves a good challenge. Edwin doing tricks? I think Edwin could surprise us. Ian, Julian, ready? Okay, Edwin. Energy. Jump. You can't get him to jump if he won't move. I'll get him to move. Here we go. Come on, Edwin. All you have to do is move two inches for your very favorite food, sardines. Maybe one inch? <laughs> Is there a problem, sweetie? It's Edwin. I really need to teach him some tricks, but he won't listen to me at all. Oh, I'm sorry. That's Edwin. Plus, cats only do what they want to do, Olivia. Good girl. Now walk your hind legs. Now walk backwards. And a flip. Wow, Gwendolyn. That was perfect. Okay, pet lovers, let the fun begin. Daisy, why don't you go first? This is Trevor, my hamster. He smiles. Harold? Behold my talking parrot. Hi. There. Hi. There. Hi. Awesome. Sam? This is Sally. Sally! Come back, Sally! Sam will take care of Sally. Sally. Julian, you're next. This is Bernie, my lizard. He, uh, sticks his tongue out a lot. Oh, cool. That's awesome. He also catches flies. Where would we be without lizards? Olivia, your turn. Edwin, the famous circus cat, will now perform some amazing tricks. I am the great Olivia Eni. I am going to hypnotize my cat. You're getting sleepy. Sleepy. Edwin listens to all my commands. Edwin. You will snore really loud. <laughs> he did very well. And now it's time to see the last pet. Francine and Gwendolyn? Meet Gwendolyn. She's very talented. Whoa! <laughs> Good job, kids. No question about the winner. It's Gwendolyn. <gasps> oh my gosh. Mrs. H, did someone come in second? Well, yes. There is a tie for second place. It's between everyone. Yay! Wow, that was great. 
Well, it sounds like a very fun pet show and tell. I still can't believe Francine won the first prize, and I didn't. I agree. You should have won. And your lizard was really good, too. Thanks. And Bernie thanks you, too. Make sure to feed Edwin now, honey. Okay, Mom. Come here, Edwin. Edwin? 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 Edwin! Edwin's not outside. I don't know where he is. You can't tell anyone. We have to find him. Edwin moved? He never moves. Something must be really important to him for him to move. Rule of life number 24. If you have a pet that never, ever, ever moves, watch out, because one day he will. It's okay. We just have to look in all his usual places. What's lost? Nothing. A toy? A book? An Edwin? Shh. Edwin's nowhere. I guess we'll look in the not usual Edwin places. Follow me. <sighs> My, you all look sad. What's wrong? Well, I can't find Edwin anywhere, and we looked everywhere. Well, you know, cats can be tricky. But Edwin isn't tricky. He can't do one trick. Well, someone must have seen him. Do you know this cat? Here's some thinking music for you. So, fluff face. It is Gwendolyn. Maybe using this will help. Take another look, Gwendolyn. Yes, he looks sort of familiar. Good. Now, when did you last see this cat? My cat is innocent. No one said she wasn't. I'm just asking a few questions here. Now, think. Where were you on the day of... of today? I did not see Edwin after we walked home from school. Ah, so you know Edwin's name. Yes, I do. But that is all I know. Of course. <laughs> what you're talking about. He's here. I know he is. Edwin, it's time to come home. <gasps> Edwin! You're doing tricks. He must have snuck in. I've been busy teaching Herman, my new dog, some tricks. Aw, they really like each other. We'll give them a kitty play date after I'm through playing with my amazing cat. See you, Francine. <laughs> I think maybe after I'm an explorer, a doctor, a conductor, an artist, and a pilot, I'll be a detective or a cat trainer. Sounds like a very busy life. Yep. And you know what would really help me? Another cat. Don't say no yet. Just one more cat. Good night, Olivia. We have a perfectly wonderful cat and a very full house. No more pets for now. Mom, are you sure you signed my permission slip? Yes, and it's in your backpack with your lunch. But are you absolutely positively sure? Oh, Olivia, you asked Mom a thousand times already. It's all right, Ian. Olivia's just excited about her field trip to the aquarium. What's so exciting about seeing a fish tank? We can see that at home. It's not just a fish tank. The aquarium has all kinds of fish tanks. Giant ones filled with every creature from under the sea. Every creature? Yep, and best of all, they have sea lions.
sea lions. Hey, Olivia, will you wrestle a really big shark and bring back one of its teeth for me? Sure. Bye. Honey, I don't think she'll get that close to a shark. Mom, you never know with Olivia. <laughs> Class, attention please. As you can see, I will be taking my trusty cowbell on our field trip in case I need to restore order at the aquarium. <laughs> Just like that. Now, I'm wearing this colorful and stylish visor so you can spot me if you get lost. But, Mrs. Hagenballer, I don't want to get lost. And you won't, Alexandra, because we will be using the buddy system. You will each have a buddy for the entire day. And when I say, buddy check, you are to hold hands with your buddy and raise them in the air. Any questions? Olivia? Can I be buddies with Julian? No, you are paired with Francine. Julian, you and Harold are buddies. Sophie, Sweet! Uh, Julian brings you best Sam. lunch. Cla come here, Connor. Over here with Connor. You come together. Otto, Oscar. Come on, get together, boys. Get together. Daisy, uh, you and Alexander will pair up. Come on, buddy. Connors. Good. Let's Thank practice you. walking before the bus comes. But, Francine, I already know how to walk. I mean walk in step. Like buddies. It'll be fun. Now, do you want to walk on the left? Or the right? Rule of life number 12. Sometimes other people's idea of fun is very different from your own. The bus is here. Gotta go. <laughs> Welcome to the aquarium, children. I'm Mr. Busby, the aquarium director, and these are your aquarium passports. As you view each exhibit, you will get a sticker, which you will affix to the image on your card. How very organized. And once your passport is full of stickers, you will go outside to the sea lion stage. <laughs> Class? The first buddies to collect all their stickers will have a little surprise later. Does it have something to do with the sea lion show? Yes, Olivia. And that's all I'll say about the surprise. Now, children, you may view the exhibits in any order you like to get your stickers. However, you must stay with your buddy. And there will be no running. Francine, hurry! I want to win the surprise! I think we should view the exhibits in this order. Smallest fish to biggest. And save the scary shark for last. Fine, whatever. Let's just go. But we should plan this carefully. Come on, they already got a sticker. Olivia, we agreed. Our first tank. Guppies. Olivia, are these guppies or groupers? Huh? Oh, those are groupers. You can tell by their lips. Wow, I didn't know you knew so much about fish. Look, clownfish. Olivia, wait, that's not the next fish on the list. So, we need a clownfish sticker. Yes, but not before we get the angelfish sticker. Ooh, seahorses. Olivia! Body check! Here! Good job, class. Carry on with your stickers. Is it time for lunch yet? Mm, not quite, Harold. You have ten more minutes to finish collecting your stickers. Do you guys 
know the way to the petting pool? Sure, it's through that door. We were just there. Look out for the blue crab. He's in a bad mood today. That's the last sticker we need. We could be the winners. Unless you two already finished. Nope, Julian said we should stop for lunch. If the surprise has anything to do with sea lions, we don't want to win. Fish breath is kind of gross. Come on, Francine. One more sticker and we'll win the surprise. so fast. Well, some people are just better at the buddy system. You're the winners of the surprise. All right, who wants to feed the sea lions first? I do. <laughs> well, there are two sea lions and there are two of you. Ew. If you don't mind, Olivia, I think I'll just watch from over there. You don't want to feed the sea lions? Olivia? 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 It's time to feed the sea lions. I thought you'd never ask. And then I taught the sea lion to walk sideways and stand on its fins. And I even got it to eat Harold Hockenberry's tuna fish sandwich that nobody wanted. Well, I can see that you are quite the animal trainer. I am, aren't I? I guess I speak sea lion. How about speaking good night? Good night, Mom. I love you and sea lions. I love you and sea lions, too. Good night, Olivia. <laughs> <laughs> 